Hello, it's Reviews Day Tuesday and today I'm going to be reviewing a couple of films. Firstly, La La Land, a musical romantic comedy drama film directed by Damien Chazelle and starring Emma Stone and Ryan Gosling. It was released in the US at the end of last year and it was released in the UK uh, on the 12th of January. It's about the relationship between Mia, an aspiring actress played by Stone, and jazz pianist Sebastian played by Gosling, while they struggle to survive and thrive in LA. I really like this film, it's so beautifully shot. You know, the colours, the feel it's very pretty and I love that and it has this great element of nostalgia to it to old school Hollywood and old musicals it has references to and elements of you know um, the golden age of Hollywood musicals and it makes me oddly nostalgic for LA as well considering I've never been there you know it's magic it's hope it's dreamers and also the dark side you know the superficiality if that's a word and um, you know how hard it is to make it there were some fantastic audition scenes with Mia which are some of my favorites in the film so brilliantly played by Emma Stone I like the characters Mia especially I think she's a fantastic character I find them interesting and believable it's a film which I think doesn't actually have that many characters there's the two leads and then there's a few supporting characters including the one played by John Legend and Mia's friends who I liked and then a few speaking parts but it's a film which is very much centered on one plot you know the relationship between these two people so there's not much time spent with anybody else really you know we have two three-dimensional characters and then everybody else kind of exists around them onto the music as this is a musical I liked all the songs I don't think there is a bad song the opening number I enjoyed a lot it sets the tone for the whole film people singing and dancing in a traffic jam it was fun but also real and not overstaged and I loved Mia's song from her final audition that was probably my favorite the here's to the fools who dream one Emma Stone sang it beautifully I would say however that a week has gone by since I saw the film and I don't really remember the songs very well you know I haven't been humming them one didn't get stuck in my head. I enjoyed the songs and I liked them in the film, but they haven't stayed with me. Also, I had trouble understanding the lyrics quite a lot. Like the audio, the levels seemed odd. I think the music is meant to seem real and not overdone. Not like big Broadway voices, real voices. But I feel like in the attempt to do that, the, the audio quality suffered. It might just be me. But don't get me wrong, I did enjoy the film a lot. It was a good, well thought out film sometimes quite sad but always heartwarming. It might have suffered a bit for me just because of all the hype, all the fantastic reviews. I was a bit disappointed not to love it as much as everybody else seems to. I feel a bit left out, like I'm missing something important. But still, I'm glad I saw it and I would recommend seeing it. And I'm gonna get it on DVD when it comes out. I will give La La Land 3.8 out of 5. The other film that I'm gonna review today is The Martian. This is a follow-up to my video of two weeks ago when I reviewed the book, so I'll put a link to that below. It's a 2015 sci-fi film directed by Ridley Scott and based on Andy Weir's book. It's about Mark Watney, played by Matt Damon. He is an astronaut who is accidentally left on Mars after his team believes him to be dead. He has to try and survive and find a way back home. I enjoyed this film a lot. It has a very similar feel to the book, which I was extremely happy about and also quite relieved about to be honest. It's funny and oddly light-hearted. Watney is a great character to spend time with in the book and Damon managed to capture that and the essence of the book was kept I thought. Also overall I think the adaptation was good. You know there were a few changes in terms of how and when things happen but I feel like overall it was solid as an adaptation. It wasn't distractingly different and I enjoyed how they changed Watney's written logs to video diaries so that we still got to get into Watney's head and it also gave the film texture as it meant we got to experience the story in different ways. It's a well directed film, the pacing is good, it was exciting despite taking place over such a long time. I talked about that exact thing with the book as well. And the performances were great, I especially enjoyed Damon and Jeff Daniels, Juet Lee Geofor, Benedict Wong and Donald Glover. Donald Glover had a very small part but I loved him so much. I definitely recommend this film and the book and I don't really think it matters to be honest what order you experience them in. I mean I guess I would probably read the book before before seeing the film because that's what I did but also I had the film for ages on DVD before watching it because I wanted to read the book first and I don't think it actually mattered that much. I would recommend both. I will give The Martian the film 4.2 out of 5. So those are my reviews for this week. I would love to know what your thoughts are on these two films if you have seen them, especially about La La Land since I sometimes feel like it is universally adored and I liked it but I didn't like it that much. I'm currently planning on putting up my next video on Friday all being well so I hope you have a great couple of days and I will see you then.